Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and punch to the flag. We begin today's morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In this season of Lent, let our own difficulties and struggles be put forth in God's hands, no matter how minor or major they may be. Sometimes, when the way seems dark, when we feel like our lives have been marked by such pain and grief, we forget. In the midst of our weaknesses, we ask that God may bless us with a reminder of strength. Lord God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, our light, our comfort, we pray for your great mercy that you guide us towards your will where we cannot find our way. Strengthen us against the temptations of the devil and remove from us all lust and every unrighteousness and shield us away against our foes as we pray, fast, and alms give during the season of Lent. You are our reminder for us to seek for the strength to help us satisfy our mind, body, and soul. Through Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I would now like to take this opportunity to invite Mr. Anziano for a brief announcement. Thank you, Max. I would like the attention of the entire student body. Students, it has been brought to our attention that a number of you have been changing for your sporting activities in the parking lot. This is absolutely against the rules. There are many people that are in our parking lot at the end of the day, including young children. So please, please check with your coaches to make sure you are not changing in the parking lot. It is very inappropriate and nobody needs to see that. So students, please, let's use our intelligence and make sure we are changing in an appropriate place. Thank you. Today is March 23rd and it is National Puppy Day. Observed each year on March 23rd, National Puppy Day celebrates the unconditional love and affection puppies bring to our lives. Their cuddles and wiggles make us smile, and without a doubt, there are squeals of delight when there are puppies around. And our quote of the day, Balance is reached by realizing that each moment is a spiritual experience, and every action is an expression of your spiritual consciousness. Elliot James St. John Vianney once said, The soul hungers for God, and nothing but God can satiate it. Therefore he came to dwell on earth and assumed a body in order that his body might become the food of our souls. A reminder that adoration will take place in the chapel every day during Lent. Take advantage of this great opportunity to be in the presence of Christ. Attention juniors, please check your junior class Google Classroom for details concerning tomorrow's retreat. The Clark Model United Nations Conference announced yesterday evening that the Pope Francis Prep Model UN team won another award that they had accidentally omitted during the award ceremony. Sophomore Liana Vale won an honorable mention award, bringing our award total for the Clark Con Conference to four. All seven Model United Nations officers have now won at least one award in each, each in the past two academic years, and we have won 17 awards in the past two months. At Pope Francis once wrote, Young people wonder how anyone can claim to be building a better future without thinking about the environmental crisis and the sufferings of the excluded. Attention all students, 
Climate Week is coming. It, it'll be a week-long event during April dedicated to environmental education and awareness. A Google form has been posted in your class Google Classroom. To prepare for Climate Week, please take the time to fill out the form. Filling out the form should only take a minute and it will also enter you into a raffle happening during Climate Week in April. There will be a meeting for all girls planning to, to play lacrosse after school today in the gym. Boys tennis, just a reminder, boys tennis will meet Thursday outside the tennis courts at 2.30. And we have a birthday today, a happy birthday to Julia Rubin. And then our schedule for today is C, D, A, B with A period lunch. First lunch, Mrs. Nemec and Mr. Goda. Second lunch, Mrs. Boudreaux Kinsey and Mr. Bresnahan. And third lunch, Mr. Dakota and Mrs. Harrington. And that's all, Pope Francis. Have a great day.